Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. Welcome to another sensational launch from Bajaj. I mean, Bajaj is scaling things up as the year comes to an end, as we all, you know, uh, are uh, getting ready to set foot in 2022. This is the 2022 Dominar 400. And uh, this is almost everything that every Dominar owner wanted from the next upgrade. And what all have uh, Bajaj packed in here with this uh, incremental, sensible and uh, one of the best uh, subtle but uh, effective upgrades for the Domino 400. Let's find out. Let's turn around now. And uh, I'm here. Nice, pleasant afternoon right here. Overcast skies right next to a small, uh, you know, a pond kind of a thing but uh, matte black Domina 400 has always been a force to reckon with one of the best looking power cruisers a unique breed in this segment and uh, that continues to be uh, special because there's no real competition for this at least in and around its price range now for the year 2022 what all upgrades do we get as you can see a lot of visual updates starting with this really really effective uh, tall windscreen that is going to offer super wind protection and uh, then of course you have these beautifully laid out hand guards with the uh, fly screen integrated into it as well and uh, you also have a better quality number plate holder to reduce the vibrations with good rubber mounting then you have the silver accents on the USD forks, 43mm USD forks up front, one of the best in class. Diamond cut alloy wheels, again one of uh, the best uh, design elements of the uh, Domina 400. And in matte black, I always call this the Batman's motorcycle <laughs> and that's the way it looks. One of my personal favorite colors for the Domina 400. Then you have the Domina badging right here in 3D and the D400 badging. And as an extension to that you have a beautiful top quality you know uh, top rack or a uh, you know back rack for the top case with a well integrated uh, backrest for the pillion again the seat layout remains the same they've just added on all the accessories that people are buying left right and center after market now they have started offering it you know as stock right from the factory which is a huge huge thing and the quality of these accessories is top notch as well then you have this very good quality bash plate right here which offers i mean steel bash plate so again great wind uh, great protection for the engine compartment and the you know uh, catcon for the bs6 update then you have the massive radiator right there liquid cooling and the powerhouse of an engine 373 cc single cylinder liquid cooled fuel injected four valve dohc triple spark dtsi engine 40 ps of max power and 35 newton meters of max torque one of the best power figures in this price range and of course this is a unique breed in and of itself the mirrors remain the same the mirrors get these kind of aluminium stocks so one of the top notch build quality offered for rear view mirrors so much so that some of the super bike owners are preferring to slap these on their super bikes another good thing is you have this kind of a uh, mounting uh, mechanism for the mobile so you can mount your uh, mobile holder here without hindering your vision without having to disturb the handlebar setting so that's another good inclusion right here very sensibly thought uh, almost everything that uh, a dominar tourer uh, touring uh, rider would want from the upgrade they have offered the windscreen the mobile holder mount uh, you know mounting system and then you have a usb charging slot right here as well which is really really good and then you have the signature twin uh, speedo layout the reverse lcd cluster here you have the reverse LCD cluster. I hope you can see it well. The only issue right under the broad daylight. It's not very visible. I really wish they had offered a backlight 
kind of a of this thing for this you can see now yeah it is visible now if you add a little bit of shade to it and uh, the twin display continues with the gear position indicator mounted on the tank the time the odometer and then you have the you know tachometer and the speedometer right here side stand, uh, side stand uh, indicator low fuel warning the fuel uh, gauge right there almost everything that you would want from the sports cruiser uh, but everything else the specs remain the same the dimensions no major changes in the technical specs department it's only the inclusion of these important accessories that everyone craved for and now you get them factory fitted now whether you can you know add these on to your existing dominar i think it should be possible because the overall silhouette the overall design the entire bike remains more or less the same except for the inclusion of these really value add on accessories which really uh, you know upscales the value proposition and also uh, shows as to how well the manufacturer has been following the dominar uh, riders who've been taking this to places across the globe another thing uh, good quality inclusion of course you have this uh, tank pad which is which was there earlier also but the risers were part of the domina 250 i believe now they have included for the domina 400 is what i feel and they make a world of differences offering a more elevated handlebar positioning so it is far more comfortable more upright seating posture seating comfort is really good so in terms of braking again as i told you we have the massive uh, 320 mm front disc dual channel abs as standard and uh, suspension i've already talked about 43 mm usd forks up front gas charged nitrox shock absorb mono shock at the back and then of course you have this uh, beautifully laid out uh, aluminium swing arm right here and uh, this makes a world of difference and this along with the mono shock and shows superb handling characteristics and superb flickability then you have the twin spar perimeter frame which also offers rock solid straight line stability and great uh, chassis orientation of course how can we miss this the most important thing a crash guard a more comprehensive crash guard now extension of this to cover the radiator compartment as well so this is another value addition so that's pretty much it apart from that you also get a slipper clutch which has been a standard inclusion which pre prevents the you know rear wheel from locking and hopping while doing faster downshifts then you have the advantage of uh, triple spark technology which offers faster combustion rate when compared to a single spark or a twin spark layout then fuel injection ensures precise uh, air fuel mixture to optimize uh, combustion efficiency and offer best fuel economy for your machine liquid cooling keeps a check on the engine temperature ensures the engine doesn't heat up quickly so heat management is better four valve engine ensures that the engine breathes easy even while you're revving it to the limits right up to the higher rpms so this is a quick overview or update of the uh, domina 400 2022 model all the important accessories now come as standard now come factory fitted which is an absolute delight for all the domina fanboys now how does it feel to ride doesn't make a world of difference in real world conditions let's take this out and let's hit the road okay guys it started raining now <laughs> time to get out of this place and how does it feel well the engine remains the same nice and uh, torquey base heavy exhaust note so nice and capable of uh, doing a bit of off-road as well <laughs> 40 ps 35 newton meters more than sufficient a lot of gravel here Gotta be a little watchful. Almost became a small off road testing track. So it is starting to pour now. I hope the visibility is not hampered by the GoPro.
okay so real world conditions great stability good overtaking power great. wind protection is something we can assess only when we hit the highway so uh, i hope bajaj sends one for my long term review sends one by for long term review but for now this one feels pretty good nice and easily flickable thanks to the aluminum swing arm the twin spar perimeter frame is awesome oh beautiful 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 feeling rock solid in gear acceleration you can cruise on this effortlessly at 9500 km per hour but the brake is good the initial bite from the 320 mm disc really confidence inspiring comfort is great the hand guards really add to the wind protection while riding hard suspension is really good well sorted it's not too hard or too stiff so overall seating comfort is good rider right? triangle is perfectly established now the dominar has transformed into a perfect tourer now if only they can make a scrambler out of this it'll be awesome because the motor is there the chassis is there they just need to do a visual overhaul to make it a proper scrambler that will be an absolute delight for people to thrash around across the dirt So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and ride safe.